to be honest i love being a youtuber being a youtuber has made me realize things about myself that i didn't even know existed my passion for editing my love for cinematography my confidence my way of speaking my love for consistency that doesn't exist <laughs> Being a YouTuber has honestly opened me up to a lot of opportunities and I just don't want to stop being a YouTuber, for sure. I know I want to keep being a YouTuber. Hey guys, one of the many compliments I get, yeah, one of the many, what do you mean? One of the many compliments I get is about how confident I am. You're very confident, yeah, I love your confidence. I mean, I get it, it's there, I know, I know. <laughs> Thank you, but I do. But that's not really the point. The point of me talking about this is how sometimes people see things. That you don't even see. I know I'm a confident person. One of the things I even tell talk about is because I know that about myself, but I don't feel it sometimes. Like it's not always there, it's not even always present. I want to be known for a certain way that my channel is. I want to be known for something, basically. I don't just want to be on YouTube filming and just dumping content and just going with what everybody's filming because to be honest nobody's interested in a day in my life <laughs> i'd still be but somebody might be interested in a day in my life as a creative director so that's why i mean i want to add value to my youtube video because i've not been doing that so for the past one year of not being on youtube actually not one year 11 months i've not been on youtube i've actually been dealing with imposter syndrome anxiety, inferiority complex a little bit. It's one thing for you to want to grow and it's another thing for you to be your own critic. Tell me anything worse than that. Because you are filming and you're not even hyping yourself. You're not even seeing what you're doing. I'm not getting wrong. I'm not even coming here to talk about any mental or psychological problem. Life has been good, trust me. This is not even about to oh, have been dealing with a lot. My mental health is at stake. No. This is just in relation to YouTube. I feel like there is no video I will put out on YouTube that nobody has seen before. There is no video that I will put out on YouTube that nobody has filmed before. Funny thing, I know people go through this. One time or the other, throughout your YouTube journey, you will just feel like you're not doing enough. You feel like there's no point to what you're doing. And it's just very normal. But in the past 9 to 11 months, it's been terrible. Like, I would not even come on YouTube. I would not even want to watch a YouTube channel. I started watching YouTube like two months ago when I knew that I wanted to get back on YouTube and when I figured out how I want my YouTube journey to be, which I'm going to share a bit of. And that was when I started watching YouTube videos. There's a certain way the girlies are on YouTube. There are some certain type of content they put out there and people are ready to watch. But I realized over the years that that's not even me. I have been putting out content because that is the content I think everybody's interested in. But honestly speaking, I don't think anybody's interested in that. I know I'm still doing it, but it is what it is, man. I figured out that my YouTube channel things that I think viewers are interested in are not really things that I want to film, things that I want to drop, things that I would like to talk about. My passions. It's just like, none of that has been showing through my channel. And why do I have a YouTube channel when I can't even be myself? When I'm just living for my subscribers and not necessarily living for me. Doing what I love, doing what I would like to do. So I took a break. I took a break to basically figure out what I want my channel to be about. How I want to go about this channel. The kind of videos I want to be dropping in. My editing style, my storytelling techniques, everything. Because come to think about it, your girl is a creative director. 
I work in media. So why is my YouTube falling short? Why are people not telling my job through my YouTube videos? It's just basic. It's just basic. So when you talk about Toby the Brand, what do you say? <laughs> she drops blogs. Toby the Brand and 50,000 other people drop blogs on YouTube. And my channel wasn't standing out the way I wanted it to be standing out. I wanted to be that YouTuber and I, it's just not, it's not, it's not working. That's, I'm not any YouTuber like this. I wanna be, wanna be, wanna be, but I'm not. Yeah, that's what I need to be. Wow, I'm going in another direction. It's time to just be real. <laughs> so I was reading a book called Still Like an Artist. I found a part that said, create videos that you would like to watch. Write books that you would like to read. I want to start creating YouTube videos that I will boldly go back to and watch it. I want to start creating things that can be like my visual portfolio, my visual diaries. I want to exercise my editing skills, exercise my cinematography skills. I just want it to look how I want it to look like. Over the months, I've been sleeping and waking up on my favorite YouTuber's YouTube channel. Shoddy Creations, Emil Cole, Good Life of Riza, Camilla Ray. You know, these are beautiful women that they don't even stress. Their videos are just so natural and cinematic. Whenever you're watching them, you're watching them with so much calmness. You're watching them with so much relatability. Their editing is chef's kiss. Their composition, the color grading, the angles. Those are things I live for. Every form of creativity in you comes alive when you're watching these people. That's just the way I want my YouTube video to be like, you know? And that's what we're working towards now, this year, starting from this video, which I can tell that so far you have been seeing some sweet and juicy things. And that's how we intend to keep it over here, okay? Most times, especially now, whenever I go back to my channel, it just looks so generic. It looks like what every other person can film. And I don't just see what makes me stand out or what makes me unique. And that's not the point of winning a channel. If you ask me, because your Instagram could have well just be that, but a YouTube channel, I feel like we should take it more seriously. <laughs> when I get content, comments about my channel, I don't get comments about my skills, about anything that I would love to get comments about. I get comments about, oh, I like your nails. Oh, your hair is nice. Oh, um, where did you make that hair? Where did you buy that clothes from? How much did you buy this? And I'm like, is that what you guys see? Is that all? Is that all there is to see? You're not talking about my editing. You're not talking about my filming skills. You're not talking about anything. And it's just it's just sad because that's really what I want my channel to be about and not what people think it's about. If you're going to take anything from this video, let it be the fact that your YouTube channel should be where you post videos that you love. Post videos that add values to people's life. Post videos that you would go back to watch and be happy about. Really appreciate the 600 people that have stuck with me. I'm not even joking. Like, I genuinely appreciate you guys. I don't take you guys for granted. I'm here to serve y'all now. Serve proper food. Because I don't know what you guys have been eating on the streets of YouTube. But it's time to eat. It is time to eat good food. <laughs> Exercise all your skills. Exercise all your, everything you think you know and add value to people's life. YouTube is not just about vlogs, and the earlier you know that, the better for you and the better for your channel. I'll catch you guys in the next one.